In Affinity Photo, you can apply adjustment layers to modify the color. But you might not want all the color to be modified. So how do you change that? Well, I've got here a layer, and you could have multiple layers, of course. Well, with this layer selected over here, what you can do is simply just go to Layer, and down here to New Adjustment Layer, and down to maybe Black and White. You could use all of the others, of course, exactly the same. So go with Black and White. And now I'm just going to close up. You can modify the setting, of course, and close. And there it is applied. Now it's above this layer. And if I had multiple other layers, all those layers below that adjustment would be modified. You may or may not want that. But say you only want it to be applied to the single layer. Obviously, take an example there, other layers there. Well, what you need to do, simply select this adjustment and then just drag it down. And as you do that, you can see you can highlight the whole thing there. You can see it's just all highlighted and release. Now it's associated only with that layer. At the same time, you might not want the entire image colored in the same way. So this black and white, you may say want the, like the hair to be still colorful. Well, how to go about that? Well, with that selected here, needs to be selected there just go down here mask layer so just click there and now straight away this now has a mask at the moment of course it's completely empty set the color over here to black or obviously gray etc i'm going to go with black so i can get the pure color coming through so it's black and you can use brushes of course you can use other things as well but i'm just going to go with brushes and i'm just going to go with grainy airbrush could use any of them of course and you set the size there just say 500 or 600 and then apply it and as you do that you can see straight away now you get the hair again colorful again now you notice i've just made a mistake i'm just just go like that by accident and i think oh don't want it like that don't want the lips to be shown like that i want it to be still black and white and simply go over here and just change that switch the color so it's white now and now i can go over here and i can apply again so this is quick and easy as that the reason i'm doing this quick video is that i had a question about it and i was thinking well it does work you can use masks with adjustments and you can modify it in numerous ways again you can always put that back to black and then apply it again and you can see then you obviously just get the hair coming through and you can continue to manipulate that all the way down there. Well, you can also go over here and you think, well, I want more than that. I don't want just black and white. Maybe go for another adjustment instead. So layer and new adjustment layer. And let's just go for one. Just go for something like recolor. So recolor. Now it applies again. I've just closed the panel. It's obviously got a red effect there. You could make it blue, green, etc. Again, it's applied above. That's just the way it works. What you can do, simply again, select the entire thing there and just drag it down into that background. Again, makes sense, all highlighted there and release. Now you can see you've still got obviously the red effect. It's on top all of all these other things as well. Well, you can also just quickly add a mask to that as well. So just go here, just click, and you've got a mask and you can span this out and you can see the mask there well you can do exactly the same thing so again just go over here to the brush and you could use a different brush of course you don't have to use the same brush you can now apply that and you can see then i can again get the golden hair back again and i can do it obviously fairly quickly obviously you could take obviously a little bit more care than that but just quickly apply it and again now i've got see this red face as well as of course the rest of the, now you might decide you want the rest to be back to gray as well you just want the face to be red and so on you could obviously apply multiple adjustment layers very quickly using this approach and you see you got there all the way down there and you can combine obviously all these and it's only applied to this layer so if you actually create another layer so let's just quickly go up here I've got this layer selected just here the move tool now it's locked 
whenever you've got this, you see it's locked there, you can just simply click that and make certain it's just not locked anymore. Sometimes it just ignores me, but you can actually just click it and then you can see you can resize this and then you can hold down the ultra option key on the keyboard and you can duplicate this. So you've got now two layers. Now this one, I can simply select these ones. They're independent, so they're nothing. Change one change, doesn't change the other one. So you can simply just delete that and you can delete that one. So now you've got the original image without any of the adjustment layers and you've got this one being modified. And if you move it around, say let's push this one up to the top just to drag it above, it doesn't make any difference. All the masks, all the adjustment layers are applied correctly just to that layer. And this layer is totally untouched by all the masks and also the adjustments as well. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Like or dislike, always appreciate it. Bye.